Hello everybody, my name is Ord and welcome back to the Ord Narrations channel. Today we're reading a story about a man whose wife of 18 years is leaving him for the affair partner. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you won't miss the latest upload. Okay, let's make a start. My, 40 male, wife, 37 female, of 18 years, had an affair. I found out on October 15th. She'd been acting suspicious for a while back. I finally looked up, is my spouse cheating, and she ticked off every box. I saw her Tesla location at some random apartments, and I told her I knew that night. They had met at a bar when she was out with her girlfriends, and she said he was good to her, and she didn't want to stop seeing him. According to her, it was only six weeks, which I believe based on her behavior. They only kissed, which I do believe also, because she's pretty self-conscious about her weight, but who knows. The best part is she also lied to the affair partner when they met that told him we were separated. I told her she had to choose him or the family, and she told me she was going to end it with him and we would work on things. So for the next seven weeks, she made me find a marriage counsellor, made me look for a better job. All the while she kept me at a distance, sleeping in separate rooms and taking our daughters, 17 and 5, that's a big age gap, out with me. I was the best possible husband that I could have been during this time. We even went out to dinner on our 18th anniversary. I would find out a week later via phone records that she was still talking to him. And she told me that night she wanted a divorce. I think the thing that hurts most is seeing how long they were talking on the phone. Three days later, she reveals to me that when she told me she ended with him, she told him that we were getting a divorce. He was still upset about being lied to, and they decided to just be friends. Even though I know he was still taking her out to eat and for drinks and talking to her on the phone every day. I texted him and told him that she was lying to the both of us. They had a big breakup that night. My wife, of course, blamed me for it. About two weeks later, I saw the Amazon browsing history on our daughter's tablet. She had been Christmas shopping for him and his kids. I confronted her. She gaslit me like she had been every time I picked up on a clue. I'm pretty sure I have PTSD from this. I knew it was over between us. I just had to know if she was still with him, and sure enough, I saw their cars together on January 10th. Apparently they're still just friends and taking things slow. The best part about all of this is the affair partner's ex-wife cheated on him, which led to the divorce. I don't understand how he could trust her at all, and also to do this to me when, and my family when he's been through the same pain. Opie, I'm really sorry to hear this. It sounds like your wife is a piece of shit. Someone left a comment saying, Friend, I am truly sorry for what you're going through. Focus on your daughters. She does not deserve you. Protect yourself and let everyone know her actions. Everyone should know what she's really like. Your daughters are the same. OP replied to this saying, I made her tell our 17 year old. She said she was already suspicious. I also let her brother know what happened and he told everyone in her family. Someone replied to this saying, How did that conversation go? She's made up her mind and committed. You need to focus on yourself, my friend, and your kids. OP replied saying, It was short. My wife was going out that night, and I told her she needed to tell our oldest or I would. My wife told her that we loved her, and we were getting a divorce, and she met someone else. And then probably five minutes later, my wife left the house. She's trying to make me feel guilty for telling her, but she was already suspicious. My wife was going out all the time and lying to us. Someone replied to this saying, Kids are not stupid, my friend. It's amazing what they can pick up on, even when they're incredibly young. But your wife blame shifting is classic cheating behavior. My guess is she was embarrassed, ashamed, and couldn't get out of the house fast enough. When my mom cheated on my dad, I was so disgusted by her. A lot of complicated shit happened, and we've never spoken to this day. Not that I'm wishing this on your family. Me and my mom used to be incredibly close. But seeing what I did to my dad and our family just made that love evaporate. Completely agree. Someone else left a comment saying, I'd text the affair partner and say, Congratulations, you're with another cheater. Just like your ex-wife, she easily lies and cheats for her own selfish gain. How you win them is how you lose them. You'll understand when it's your turn to be betrayed again. I'm petty like that, but it's the truth. The idiot doesn't realize he's with someone exactly like his ex-wife. Someone replied to this saying, That's what idiots do in life who don't learn from past mistakes. These two morons don't stand a chance in hell of a successful relationship. And then she'll come crawling back, begging for a second chance. It's all textbook at this point. I hope OP takes the trash out with expediency. 
Someone else has left a comment saying, get a lawyer as soon as possible and do whatever your lawyer says to do. Go no contact with her, throw her out and go live with the affair partner. Your marriage is dead. She's murdered it. I'm sorry that this bullshit is in your life. Update us with your progress. OP replied to this saying, I have a lawyer. She served me and I just signed the response. Going no contact has been difficult. Someone else has left a comment saying, you really have to stop allowing her to make you do anything. This dynamic gives people mental license to think they can do whatever they want with you. From now on, the word no is a complete sentence. Oh, and sell the Tesla if it's in your name. <laughs> OP replied saying, you're right. I have let her walk all over me for the past 18 years. I've realized that now. The Tesla is hers. She makes more money than me, which is one of the superficial reasons she's leaving me. Someone replied to this saying, it's going to be quite funny to see her reaction when she has to pay you alimony. OP replied saying, yep, she's already told me to man up and refuse it. To which someone replied saying, you better not refuse the alimony. Also, given the large age gap in your daughters, I would encourage you to get a paternity test on your youngest. You don't know the depth of your wife's deceit. A sad but harsh truth. Someone else has left a comment saying, apparently they're still just friends and taking things slow. I'm sure you don't believe this, and they only kissed is not accurate either. This is not high school. She's in an active affair in front of you. You could bet it has been physical already. Two cheaters have a slim chance of a happy or long-term relationship. Apparently, the affair partner was not too broken up to find out that she is a liar and a cheat. Contact a lawyer to know what divorce looks like for you. She has already left the marriage. Sorry, OP. Look to a future without her in it. Except for the kids. Someone else has left a comment saying, I know this feels really painful right now. You worked to save the marriage and be a good husband, and she threw you away for someone else. It's hard not to ask the question why you weren't good enough, but don't waste time on it. The decision to cheat was hers alone. As difficult as it is to see things that way, you need to realize she did you a favor by cutting short the amount of time and energy you would otherwise be spending on someone who doesn't deserve it. In time, you'll accept this as true, and later still, come to feel it within yourself. For now though, let yourself grieve the loss of the marriage. It's normal and appropriate. Hugs from a stranger. Someone else has left a comment saying, Man, having read this story over and over, this is going to blow up spectacularly in your wife's face. It will damage her relationship with her kids. After this guy doesn't work out, you will be forced to watch from afar as she aimlessly and pathetically tries to reclaim her youth, dating around and trying to find herself and her happiness. When you, finally, when you are over it and happy in a few years, dating someone else, she'll make some overtures about getting back together, which will gross you out. This is your typical blow up your life affair that happens to people that are faced with getting older. Get a tiger of a lawyer and protect yourself. You might want to consider trying to get the house and custody. Very good point. OP, it sounds like the comments here have told you exactly what you need to do. Get in contact with a lawyer and uh, get that process started to separate yourself from her. As some of the comments point out here, when it blows up in her face, she will try and crawl her way back to you. But obviously, don't give in. She's just trying to use you once again. It's a tricky situation. What do you think OP should do? What would you do in OP's shoes? Let me know in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss the latest upload. Alrighty, we'll have to finish there for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.